Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and we are back with more Spooktober. This was supposed to be Monday's video, but yeah. Anyway, we're going to do a little bit of a map comparison here because I think these kind of explorations are important. First up, we have a map of dogman sightings. You can see they're kind of spread throughout the U.S. don't really see them in the Dakotas or even in Mexico really but they're a little bit throughout but you'll notice they're really condensed in the Wisconsin Michigan Ohio Indiana locations so yeah but we've got sightings that go all the way up to Alaska so pretty condensed now we have a map of Bigfoot sightings as you can see it's pretty much throughout the United States. Uh, we don't have anything to really view as far as Mexico. I mean, these are Canada and Alaska and everything though, so that kind of spill over the top. We've got quite a few in Florida, quite a few in California, and then Ohio. Uh, Ohio, I, I think it's about the Ohio, Pennsylvania region. You notice there are sightings like up in Michigan and Wisconsin, but not near as dense. One thing we must take into account, Ohio, Florida, California, those are your po uh, more of your populous states, you know, border of Texas. So it's it's kind of interesting. But if you see this overlay, Dogman, while there are sightings, not near as dense in these locations except for right here. Like I said, this Midwestern Michigan, Wisconsin, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois. So it's like, hmm. Now, what we want to take into observation bear maps. This is a map that's supposed to show the Um, normal range. I think this mainly deals with black bears, but yeah. Yeah, the American black bear. So yeah, you can see it goes a little bit into Mexico. It's in Florida, California. Along this, the uh, Appalachian mountain range. Michigan, Wisconsin, Ohio. See, I grew up here. I've actually seen them if you live in the back woods areas. So yeah, this little section right here, where I live, like I said, I grew up 
in the more wooded areas. Now I live right along the major road in town, but when I was growing up, we lived in one of the uh, back back roads, and it, it was all wooded. There, there was a road, but the rest of the area woodland and interspersed with houses. Uh, and I remember driving to school one day and seeing coming down the hillside because they were just traversing it you could see a couple of black bears so yeah They are around. I've, I've seen that kind of thing before. Um, but, yeah, you can see their range stretches quite a ways, especially up into Canada, but along the mountain systems, the Rockies here, Sierras, Appalachians, Ozarks. Shoot. Yeah. So, they love those mountainous regions like that. Otherwise, it's usually in the north. But another bear map. Anyway. This is what we have here. Let's increase this to make it easier to see. Now this map breaks down further bears. Black bears, which you can see it's still there further down here. But then when you start getting up Montana, uh, Wyoming, tip into Washington, Idaho, you have grizzly bears. And a black bear. Polar bears, they're, you're looking at top end tips of uh, Alaska and Canada. But yeah. So, we can kind of rule them out as far as what we're looking for. But, yeah. Mainly a lot of black bear. There's some other interspersed throughout, but... They do exist. And again, these are the same areas, Appalachians... Ozarks, Rockies, Sierras, so yeah. Now, we take into account Bigfoot sightings and bear sightings overlap quite a bit. Which is, again, why I give a lot of credence to the idea that Bigfoot may be an actual creature. Because they have many of the same ranges. But the dog man, it stays, most of the sightings are right here. You have sightings throughout. Oh, I don't know what. Let me find my browser here. That's what I wanted to do. You have sightings throughout 
but yeah they don't necessarily follow the same tracks which is what's interesting and why I'm a little more suspicious on what as far as if they're real or not. It's not to say that they're not. I won't discount them. But just looking at the maps, the overlays, they don't seem to be living in the same setups that other giant predators necessarily would. Bigfoot's up in here, you know, we've seen lots of sightings of Ohio Grassman and stuff. If you want to break them down into all that. But yeah. Um, skunk apes. Uh, like I said, a lot of uh, the Texas, Louisiana, and then Arkansas areas, the Ozarks, more or less. But, uh, I can kind of see that there may have been, like I said, Bigfoot might be real because they have the same pathways, more or less. Not to say that your Bigfoot sightings may have been confused with bears. That's a possibility. But there are, there is a far higher chance that uh, Bigfoot's its own real entity as opposed to the Dogman. Again, not saying the dog man doesn't necessarily exist, but the maps don't seem to overlap very well when it comes to the dog man. Bigfoot, bears, they seem to travel the same routes. So yeah, and we've talked about population too. Florida, you would think if the dogman was real, you would have more sightings. Same with California being a more populous state. But he really likes this northwest, midwest, that's what I was trying to think of, not northwest, midwest area around the lakes, the Great Lakes, so yeah. But that's what I wanted to talk about today is to look at the differences on the maps. So, yeah. It's intriguing. But, we'll go ahead and end this episode there. Uh, as always, Educate thyself, think, read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll be putting these links in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later.